Jelai, go ahead and introduce yourself. So, by the way, everyone, I'm Jelai from Jelai and Untold Story. So, I'm very happy that I'm here in Cebu right now. And finally, we met <laughs> Steph Filipina. Yeah, I'm so happy to be part also on your channel. Oh, yeah. So, how long? How long is the travel from the Magati going here? Um, for bus, it's five to six hours, and for the ocean jet, it is maybe four to five hours. And if you go by a plane, it is only fifty, uh, twenty to thirty minutes only. Okay. Did yeah. you did you go here using a no airplane? Airplane. Yeah. Only? Okay. How much is that? Um, us. around almost four thousand for 4, that. Four thousand, okay. Yeah. By the way, congrats for the forty oh, thousand. Thank you so much. So, how does it feel to um, reach forty thousand subscribers? It feels so good. Like it's like for me. Um, I can't believe it's unbelievable. But I'm. St I don't like to feel that I'm in forty thousand because. Mm -hmm. I just like you know enjoying having my channel. I don't like to be. I don't like my head getting bigger i don't like that so mm. i just don't like to think that i'm in 40 right now okay. i'm still chasing many <laughs> vloggers who are um bigger than mine okay yeah. I... how old are you again i'm 23 23 have you had any relationship with a filipino or a foreigner before um i had two filipino and a one foreigner one foreigner so tell me about the experience the difference between dating a foreigner and a filipino so the difference between a foreigner and a Filipino, so Filipino, it was like puppy love because I was very young that mm -hmm. time. Like I started relationship from 14 years old. Mm -hmm. and that was my first relationship and my second relationship when I was 15. And that was my longest relationship, like maybe um, around five years. Mm -hmm. Then my second one, and my third one is the foreigner. Mm -hmm. So the foreigner is like... Um, he will teach you how to be how to be matured mm -hmm. like educationally they will teach you how to be a good person mm -hmm. and how to stand yourself as you're on your own and it depends with a filipino because it's more on like love 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 no future mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. yeah so for foreigner they're always looking for future but not all foreigner because some foreigners they always want to have fun with you no, they're not thinking about the future mm. so not all. okay so jella i actually want to ask what's your biggest regret in life and what's your greatest achievement aside from uh reaching 40 subscribers now I think my biggest regret in life when I trusted to someone that is very close to me. Mm -hmm. I trusted all my secrets and I treat them like as my siblings mm -hmm. when they betray but they betray me. Okay. So that is my, that is the hurt thing for me. It's like more than a breakup because when you, when you are very close to someone you really gives everything. You trust them mm -hmm. and treat them like a sister like a brother but at the end of the day they're just um killing you they're just um sharing your secrets to other people so i don't like that okay. and the, my biggest achievements in life is to finish my mom's house renovation mm -hmm. and give him a helper so as of now the house is finished and my promise to my mom long time ago when i was 17 years old is one day when she is 60 plus years old i will give him somebody to help her in the house and that was my big I actually I don't expect that kind of dream. That was my promise for my mom yeah. only. And now it's literally happening. Yeah. So without YouTube I can't also do that. Yeah. For me, um except of reaching the forty thousand by helping my family, that's the biggest achievement for me. Seeing them, uh, seeing uh, smiles on their faces, that's a big achievement for me. Yeah, I can yes. see that. And actually, what I've been watching your videos mm -hmm. before, and I can definitely say that you are really an inspiration and a good exa example to those Filipina who's wanting to make another extra income yeah. through YouTube by helping their parents. And you know what? Actually, I've I've also read some negative comments on your... Uh, so many. Yeah, so mm. many, right? But yeah. you know what? It's totally fine because it's, you know, the more subscribers you have, the more 
negative comments or the more trolls you will get to have. Yeah. But then how you deal with it? And what can you say to those trolls who's been telling you that uh, you only get 40k subs or you only reach that because all of your contents are, are your sex and you are acting too innocent, you're acting too yeah. demure, but all of your contents are just about this to get more clicks and subscribers. So what can you say about that? How do you deal with it? Actually, it's like trolls are trolls. We can't stop them. Um, when you get popularity, this is what you need to think. Um, you always um, dreaming about to become popular, but also you need to be ready to those kind of things because when you get popular, many people would come into your channel just to drag you down. Yeah. So it is normal for me. I I was depressed because I can't explain myself. I can't explain my side and how to explain to them one by one who I am. But I realized you don't have to explain who you are because you know who you are, and those people don't need your explanation. Because yeah, those those people are just jealous and nonsense. So all you have to do is to ignore them and be happy what you're doing. And if you're happy about what, because those trolls are the ones supporting you as well. Yeah. Support your channels a lot. So you need to be happy because somebody notice you. So if somebody notice you, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And those trolls will stop if you don't um, recognize them. If you don't like to also to be sad because they are. Um, they want to drag you down. If you're sad, they're happy. Mm. But if you're happy, they're sad. So let them make sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what's the what's the worst comments that you have ever received or have ever read? The worst. I mean, worst comments that made you cry, made you depressed, made you want to quit YouTube. I think the worst comment. It's not a comment. It's an. I don't. I don't. I don't, prob I don't have a problem. And maybe. The worst comment for me is the comment from the people who are I trusted for. Are they Filipino or? They're, they're foreigners, but they are one of my members. So oh. it's really because if I receive um, comments from Indian people, I don't care. Mm. But if I receive comment, bad comments from the people that is member in my channel, of course, that really hurts for me mm -hmm. because I'm thinking about even members don't believe me anymore. Yeah. So that's really hurting me. Okay. Yeah. So that made you like wanted to quit YouTube. Yeah, because I, I, it, it was in my mind like how much, how much I, I how others can trust me, if because my members is already this, uh, this uh, having distrust on me. Mm -hmm. So how others can trust me? That was when I was what I was thinking. But oh my God, I was thinking about uh, people just come and go. If you hate you, they hate you, and yeah, just I let agree. them live your. Live, house yeah. live them your live them on your channel okay so it's their also july why sex though why sex topic like spicy topics um yeah. actually i started with a very cute sexy topics mm -hmm. with other vloggers and she's also famous so i get so many views from that oh me says kelly no no she's not um it's maya oh yeah, maya. so i got so many viewers from that and made me inspired to do more oh. so it's not matter like um, I will do this topic because it's my experience, but it's all about entertainment. And yeah. when I started, all oh, people having fun watching it. So if the algorithm is focused on that kind of thing, then you should continue it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But is there any possible for you to make another decent videos? I have so many decent videos as well. I mean, <laughs> no, like when you are not talking about sex. Actually, sex. we have we have. Many videos that are not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some some are, but some are not all as well. I have so many doesn't with you. Okay. Yeah. So. Right. So what's your goal right now? Actually, now that you reach forty k, I mean forty k subs. Do you are you planning to do collaboration with with Miss Filipina P? Um, I don't have goal. Every day I don't have Why? like I don't have goal for the channel because I only goal before one thousand mm -hmm. and now it's times time something like that and actually not, it's not like about big goal mm -hmm. um all i have to do now is like i'm chasing other vloggers as well but i'm hoping not a goal it's like i'm hoping to collab with them and on my channel every day is like a new experience mm -hmm. so it can make me more develop on my channel yeah like maybe the, the one goal in here is to become successful yeah. that's it 
Okay, so the last question is, what can you say about those Filipino vloggers who's still starting right now, who's wanting to be in your position right now, who's wanting to reach more subscribers to make money out of YouTube? What can you advise to them? Oh, what can I advise to you is like, I know that you have small channel as of now and you are wishing to have a big channel. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is to be prepared on the success because they said, oh my God, she's so successful and for sure she have a good life. So reaching the success, you have so many challenges. Yeah. So you need to be prepared those challenges because if you are not prepared, you will kill your channel. Yeah. So all you have to do is to be strong and just be yourself yeah. be normal not abnormal <laughs> just be normal and continue what you are doing don't listen to negative people because they were just trying to drug you down yeah. and you yourself can make success for you only mm. nobody else i totally agree with you like guys because i also make you know naughty videos i also yeah, receive yeah, negative yeah, yeah. comments yeah, from yeah. people so now i totally agree because actually no matter what you do people will always have something yeah, to say yeah. about yeah, you as long yeah, as yeah. you are not stepping anyone's toes then yeah, yeah. you know you'll go for it girl go for it <laughs> wherever you happy wherever you're comfortable with well, then go yeah Ooh, a spicy question oh my god Ooh. i'm just giving up that i know you're gonna love <laughs> how are i gonna love that one <laughs> <laughs> okay so do you watch porn actually i don't watch porn. you don't watch porn. I, I don't watch i don't watch why I but do you think it's normal for a girl to watch a porn no it's not normal it's not normal. It's not Why? normal. In my family, I don't know. Nobody is watching that. Really? No, it's not. It's not normal. I don't. I don't play games on like on mobile. And how about watching porn? No. Oh my God, guys! Jella is not watching porn, and I'm watching porn. Does that make me abnormal? No. I don't watch porn. Like, I don't know. Why? It's but in, it's not. What my, but long time ago, I encountered watching that one. Uh. Maybe once in a year that was long time mm -hmm. but now i'm busy on youtube oh. i was in college okay. so it is not normal for me to watch those and but how about other filipinas is watching porn do you think it's normal for them especially if they have boyfriend you think ah uh, yeah yeah um i i have i got so many ideas from filipina they shared to me uh -huh. like about their experience about in bed mm -hmm. and i also shared on my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. so that those things that I shared on YouTube channel, those are based on like on their experience. Mm -hmm. Like some people are they watch porn just to make to be horn and mm -hmm. yeah to for them to make love because mm -hmm. when they don't watch porn, they don't feel any wet. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> some of them are like that, and some of them just kissing and they get horn. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of um experience they have. But I'm not in my I'm not in my type like in my taste to watch porn just to me. What is my purpose of it? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe if I have partner and don't have spark anymore, I will watch that. No. For for sure, I will watch. Okay, that. but the how about masturbation? Oh my god, it's not my type of the watch masturbation. No, it's not. Actually, this is true, guys. No, it's not. Do no. you do that? No, yeah, of course I do masturbate. <laughs> Like, you, ha you have a long nails. How could you do masturbation? No, I just recently got my long nails. <laughs> I always have long nails. You know what? I thought you're very open to this because, you know, you talk about sex. So. Yeah, I talk about sex because I was a nurse aide and we got family planning already. Mm -hmm. So, we know about, like, about those kind of things uh -huh. in school. Okay. Yeah, so it's normal for us. I do catheterization. I know what are the kind of sizes. So... Yeah, okay. it's and also I have I have a lot of friends and even my parents with the, her friends also talking about those kinds. So I just heard it and they from based on their experience. experience. Yeah, but, but not your experience. But in myself, I don't honestly I don't do masturbation. I but, don't I don't have any toys. But do you think it's normal? I think it's normal for women, but if you are so horny, I think it is. <laughs> I'm boring person in terms of that. Uh, okay. So I'm not into having fun of myself because I'm always busy on working and working and working and I don't have even sleep just for that. Like maybe two to three hours sleep in a day. So I'm crazy doing that, I think. Okay. Yeah. But, but I'm talking spicy, a lot of spicy on my channel, but 
masturbate is not in my I know it's not in my vocabulary well. <laughs> okay. All right. And also last question. Mm. If you're going to have a boyfriend, will the size matter to you or the performance? Matter? It's the performance matter to me mm. because if it's big Um, but he don't, doesn't know how to boom doesn't boom. know how to boom boom you and it's and it's small and he don't know it's can kind of like try so it's better to do the performance because you know where you are good at yeah, yeah. <laughs> i understand <laughs>